What is going on guys? It's Shu here, bringing you another finale review this time, of course. I think I got it right this time. Do You Love Mom and her two multi-hit attacks. I think I got it right. This is the last time I'll say that. So I don't know if I did. But for this season finale, I want to say that it didn't feel like one. It really didn't. Uh, the ending kind of did, but the beginning of it did not. And goodness gracious, like, Amante really stepped up the game in this finale. Like, she truly was more of a villain than ever. And she almost convinced Masato to actually, I guess, join her or kind of see her reasoning. At least it seemed like that for a moment. But luckily, we had Medi, Wise, and Porter, who honestly were had they not been there it could have been a different story but we get to see them uh, finally joining up against Amante and we see that they that she has already defeated the monster and the only thing that's left is the door but while they are almost there they have to face their own troubles themselves and they all get split up and Masato I guess having one of the weirdest traps ever he has his mother uh, kind of telling him to follow him here and obviously it's a trap and it turns out to be like a whole mob of them and for like the first time ever I guess not that it's really her but for the first time ever we get to see uh, Mamako giving an expression other than that of a loving one she looked psycho obviously like I said it is not the real her so it was kind of fun to see you know something different when it comes to Mamako and uh, they all get out thankfully we had Mamako helping out Masato uh, once again uh, when it comes to clearing the demons that is his mom uh, so it was nice to see that but then like I said then they meet up against Amante who is already there and one thing that really kind of shocks me or I, I haven't really paid attention to we we get to hear what Medi and Wise was going up against, but then we don't really hear what Porter is up against. So she's very a giant question mark to me. I'm wondering if Porter knows something that I don't know. It just feels very, you know, bland and curious to me, like very ambiguous. I I, I don't really know much about Porter. Like it just seems very convenient, you know. So. I don't know. I feel like if we do get a second season, uh, they have to dive into a little bit of her. At least that's what piques my interest. But when we have Amante nearly convincing them and taking them down, like she truly proves how powerful she is. She has, <clears throat> excuse me, she has uh, Medi and Wise even arguing amongst themselves because they can't really do anything against her. She's, uh, she's uh, immune against magic. Uh, nothing that they throw at him is enough. Any attack even can be repelled back. So it's kind of hard for them to fight back against her. Um, and even something that was we hadn't seen before was that when Amante were, you know, repeats their attack, well, brings back their attack, they're actually killed because of it. So it's like that's the first time we've ever seen them die from an attack like that. So it was kind of a kind of cool in my opinion but we don't actually get to hear any more of why Amante really wants to get rid of moms all she says is that her wish to get rid of them is because they're always in the way you know he wanted to have this adventure and uh, she was pretty much forced to be on him so where is her mom you know what's going on here it's a lot of questions here in my opinion um, but all it does is have Mas Masato even, I guess, grow his resolve even more and actually telling her that, no, this is our adventure. You know, I'm, yeah, sure, I, my mom drives me crazy and all this, but you know what? This is the adventure that we're on, and it's the only adventure we can ever be on. And despite all that, you know, we're not, we're not trying to change it. We're going to keep it this way. This is my adventure with my mom, and I'm okay with that. Despite it all, I'm okay with that. And so we finally hear Masato being a little more honest, which I think throughout it all, at first he was very upset about it. 
but he truly kind of came to terms with it to the point to where he was all right with it. And even though there were situations where there was very uh, etchy, I guess you could say, and uh, unnecessary, we see that they got along. And this actually makes Mamako really happy. All the other girls agree as well. And it actually has Mamako actually be a little upset and scolds Amante and creates like this ultimate attack. It doesn't take her down, which is crazy, but it also shows us that Amante is very powerful despite everything that they throw back at her and no matter what attack Mamako gives. And then they try to get the wish and when when they do get there, the uh the wish is taken by Mamako, who wishes for eggs, which was funny. And um, Amante leaves, and it just kind of seems as though she's going to ask the help of the other friends the, from the, rebe the Rebellion group, or whatever it was pronounced. And it ends it. So, overall, I did enjoy this anime. It's, it's been very fun to watch. Um, a little lighthearted, um, edgy, it's funny. Um, kind of basic but from what I have to say uh, I would have definitely watch a second season um, if you have time to binge watch you know something like this definitely do it it's a sweet one uh, Mama Ko's voice personally by one of my favorite voice actresses in the game I Kayano which I've said before in other videos but definitely if you're a fan of these kind of things, or isekai, or whatnot, this is the anime for you. But guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others. Hopefully we'll get a second season. But as always, take care, and I'll catch you later.